this formula for pi was first published in the year 1593 by the French mathematician Francois Viet. And as you can see, 2 divided by pi is equal to this infinite product of nested radicals. And the way to derive this formula is by using two different trigonometric identities. So the first one is the half angle identity that the cosine of theta over 2 is equal to the square root of the cosine of theta plus 1 divided by 2. And the second identity is that the sine of theta is equal to twice the cosine of theta over 2 times the sine of theta over 2. And in this video, I will show you how we can derive these identities using Euler's formula. And in the next video, I'll show how to use these identities to derive this formula found by Viet. So if we start with Euler's formula, we have e to the i times theta is equal to the cosine of theta plus i times the sine of theta. And remember that i is just the square root of negative 1. So if instead I replace theta with the angle theta over 2, I would have e to the i times theta over 2 is equal to the cosine of theta over 2 plus i times the sine of theta over 2. But giving this an angle of theta over 2 is the same thing as starting with this original identity and taking the square root of it. In other words, this is equal to e to the i times theta raised to the 1 half power. And it's also equal to the square root of this side of the equation. So it's equal to the square root of the cosine of theta plus i times the sine of theta. So essentially, this expression here is equal to this expression. So the cosine of theta over 2 plus i times the sine of theta over 2 is equal to the square root of the cosine of theta plus i times the sine of theta. So next, we want to square each side and then we can simplify and set the real parts equal to each other and the imaginary parts equal to each other. So if I square this expression, I would have that the cosine squared of theta over 2 plus i times twice the cosine of theta over 2 times the sine of theta over 2 plus i squared times the sine squared of theta over 2 is equal to the cosine of theta plus i times the sine of theta. And remember that i squared is negative 1. So I can rewrite this separating the real and imaginary parts. So the cosine squared of theta over 2 minus the sine squared of theta over 2 plus i times twice the cosine of theta over 2 times the sine of theta over 2 is equal to this expression. So now I want to set the real parts equal to each other. So the cosine of theta would equal this expression here. So the cosine of theta is the cosine squared of theta over 2 minus the sine squared of theta over 2. And I also want to set the imaginary parts equal to each other. So the sine of theta is equal to this expression. So I have the sine of theta is equal to twice the cosine of theta over 2 times the sine of theta over 2. And notice that this is one of our two identities that we are looking to derive. So now I just have to clean this one up a little bit. And recall that the sine squared of any angle, in this case theta over 2, is equal to 1 minus the cosine squared of that angle, which is theta over 2. Remember, this just comes from the Pythagorean identity that the sine squared of some angle plus the cosine squared of that angle is equal to 1. So now I can substitute this value into here so that I have an equation with only cosines in it. So the cosine of 
theta is equal to the cosine squared of theta over 2 minus 1 minus the cosine squared of theta over 2. So the cosine of theta is also equal to the, twice the cosine squared of theta over 2 minus 1. And if I solve for the cosine squared of theta over 2, then I can add 1 to each side and divide by 2, so that I have the cosine of theta plus 1 divided by 2 is equal to the cosine squared of theta over 2. So all I need to do is take the square root of each side, and I have the half angle identity. The cosine of theta over 2 is equal to the square root of the cosine of theta plus 1 divided by 2. And this is the second identity that we are looking for. So in the next video, I will use these identities to derive Viet's formula.